but guess who's there? Oh my gosh. What did you do? Making a potion. and welcome back to the Daily Bumps channel. Today, I actually just dropped Ollie off at school and I am headed to the gym. I've been doing the gym about two, three times a week, if I'm lucky. Some weeks it's worse, some weeks I'm a little better. But I've been feeling really good. I've actually lost like five pounds, so yay for me. So I'm really proud of myself because I was like, I need to get back in shape. I have been so busy lately. I used to ride my horse and that kept me in like good shape, but I just don't have as much time anymore and I don't get down to the barn very often. That's such a bummer because that really kept me in shape. When he was like, he was like two minutes from my house. So I would just run down there. I'd like hop on for 30, 45 minutes and it was like a workout. But yeah, I'm going, I'm in, back in the gym. Me and my friend go. So I usually pick her up and we motivate our, each other to work out. So we're about to go do that right now. And I think I'm gonna try and take you guys along with me. Sometimes it's hard to vlog in the gym because you know, cameras in the gym, people don't want to be, you know, filmed usually. I don't mind it, but obviously people around me do. So it's kind of hard sometimes to film inside the gym but we're starting off the day with motivation if you are feeling like you know you're out of shape you go out there and get back in shape all you have to do is go on walks every day most of the stuff I do at the gym you literally can do at home so here's a little motivation for you you can do it I promise We went pretty hard today. It was hard. Some days I feel like it's easier and some days I feel like it's harder. Cause like, we don't have a personal trainer. It's just us trying to like motivate ourselves. And we're pretty good at it. We're pretty good at like, no, we gotta do five more. We gotta do more than that. But I know with a personal trainer, we'd be like, we did it one time and I was like, I took like a two hour nap. I was like shot for the whole day. So bad. Um, that was like in the beginning. Now we're getting better. We're doing better. If you guys have any workout routines or workout suggestions, we love that stuff. We've been trying to like follow people. And so if you know anyone we should follow for like good workouts for two girls, let me know, leave it down in the comments. But anyways, I'm just gonna like relax for a minute cause I'm like, whew, I am tired. <laughs> What did you do? I've been sitting outside. Well, Finn, are you serious? How did you even do that? Where did you find that? You made a potion. He's been talking all day about how he's gonna make a potion. And I was like, okay, I thought he was just joking. And my entire pool. Oh, what did you do? I put my potion in it. You put potion in it. I am so upset. How did you do this? I am pranking He's pranking us. 
Oh, I was like laying on the on my hammock and I look up and my whole pool is covered in white. And we've done this before, but it's never gotten this much without our help. Are you? No, no. What did you do? Brian's going to freak out. Where did you get all that? We don't even have that stuff. Where is it? It's in the kitchen. You put dish soap in here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is not good. I don't know. I was laying on the hammock and I look up and he's like, was creating a potion apparently. Yeah, he was making a potion. to our pool, Finn. What? Bro. Okay, so here's the thing. He was making a potion. He asked for bubbly, which an orange bubbly. I was like, all right, I'll open the orange bubbly. That seems harmless. And then I looked up five minutes later and our whole pool has bubbled. Come here. Come here. What? Can you tell me what happened. Walk me through this. Oh, dish soap? Oh my goodness. Okay, so where did you find the dish soap? You got dish soap from the kitchen? Yeah. How did you even get in here? How much of it did you put in there, dude? Uh, all of Yeah. A lot? Where, where <laughs> is the dish soap at now? I <laughs> cannot believe this guy. Show us what you used. I'm getting, I'm gonna have to look at the camera to see how much he used of that. Is that soap in there? Look at the pool, babe. It's, co huh. it's covered. Finn, Finn. You can't do you can't that. You can't do that. You can't put things in the pool, buddy. How you much? I think he also used bubbly. Soap and bubbly, was that your magic potion? Mm -hmm. oh and gosh. did you use that too? Yeah. That would do. Mm -hmm. How much of this did you put in, would you say? Where was it filled up? Uh huh. Where did you? What did you use? Well, turn up the hot tub because you're going swimming, kid. You are a stinker. <laughs> it's flying around in there. <laughs> oh man! If you guys didn't see, we actually did this a couple months ago on purpose. Yes. When I was filming a music video. Yeah. But uh, not like this. He not with dish soap. I think that could be very dangerous. Wait, for that, our could, that could break our pool for sure. Yeah. And you're gonna be paying for that. Yep. Coming out of your college fund. Oh my. Mama, can you let me out here? There's bubbles now in my yard. Pick it up. Pick it all up. Yeah! <laughs> all right, I think this is the best it's gonna get today. Um, and I just got done getting Finn all dressed. Look how cute he looks. He looks so handsome. If you guys haven't been able to tell, I have been just combing over his little mohawk. If you guys don't know, he's got a mohawk. But it is like really hard for me to do. I don't know why, but I'm not very good at like standing it up. It also feels too long to really stand up. So I don't really do it. But if you guys haven't watched, Brian got his haircut the other day. I was not too happy about it. He was trying to do something similar to Finn's, which I didn't love. And now I actually do love it. I'm like, oh, it does fit his personality like perfectly. But Brian wanted something like it. And I felt like he did not get what he was telling me he was gonna kind of get. It's like, you guys saw earlier, but it's like very like, whew, skin right there. I don't know, you guys can watch my reaction. I'll have the video up in the iCard. All right, I just got to my mom's house. And if you guys didn't watch, a few days ago, we put out a video about how my brother was stuck overseas in Vietnam, which was kind of scary because the coronavirus is going crazy over in that area. And so we were kind of worried, especially because he had to fly through Hong Kong and China. If you haven't seen all the details, I'll have that video linked up above. But guess who's back? back. He made it. Back. But I'm, I do, I was, yeah. maybe I should put on a mask. <laughs> Don't touch me. Anyway, we're quarantining him. I know, he he's quarantining, he has to go home. But yep, he made it. Were you in this uh, tin box from China with a lot of sick people? Yeah, Hong Kong. So Some coughing? To, I didn't hear any coughing. Everyone had masks on. You know, Everyone. Was, uh, Did you wear a mask the whole time or no? Not the whole time. I know, it's so time. weird. I, I can't wear a mask that long. I start to like... I don't want to smell my breath for that yeah, long. It gets all moist. Yeah, it. I did it when I was uh, cleaning out the chicken coop and that was not fun. He made it. He didn't get stuck in Hong Kong. He didn't get stuck in Vietnam. It was definitely a scare. 
but he made it. All is good, and he even got the boys some cool little things. He's been gone for like three weeks, so this is the first time we're seeing him. Oh my gosh, they're like cute little wooden puzzles. They're not puzzles, but no? they're just like, they look like puzzles. Can you get a little oh, I thought they were totally puzzles. Oh my gosh, oh, he's gonna freaking love this. Mm -hmm. Isn't that so cool? What do you say to uncle? <laughs> oh my gosh, I just noticed that Jimmy paid $50,000 for this. What are you thinking? They, they don't need a $50,000 toy. It's worth it for the boys, come on. <laughs> $50,000 for a puzzle? That seems a little extreme. He came home loaded. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look how at much money do you have? He's got a ton in there. He's got 200000 $200,000? That's on that sign. That's funny. So how much does this equal in America? Uh, it's about eight dollars. Eight dollars, really? It's <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. All right, Zuri. This is Zuri. She's going back home. She likes it at home. Huh? She's like, don't talk to me. Hey, Ollie. Hi. You're home from school. Yeah. Guess what? what? Uncle got you something. Yay. I just uh, gave one to Finn, so I'm gonna show you yours. Okay. Ready? Isn't that so neat? Yeah. Yeah, so it is literally a little wooden puzzle Wait, of an it, alligator. It, it breaks apart. Yeah, it does come apart, but you gotta be careful or you'll lose all the pieces. But it was made in Vietnam. Isn't that so cool? Yeah. <laughs> How does it break apart? So this little stick right here that looks like eyeballs, that is holding the whole thing together. Okay. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. You wanna try and do it? You gotta memorize where it all goes or it's not gonna go back together. Oh my gosh, I'm actually worried now. So these days, um, things have been very different. Like the kids have activities, um, they're at school. So right now Finn is actually at karate and Ollie just got home from school. And then when Finn gets home, Ollie will be heading off to karate. So something's always going on around here. I have a meeting with someone in about five minutes, but you, Ollie is standing up here and I was gonna tell him, do you know what your brother did today? Karate. I was sitting over there on the hammock and um, I wasn't paying attention and he took tons of dish soap and put it into the hot tub. Really? Yes, and he covered the pool in bubbles. Well, actually, that's what I was gonna show you guys too. It seems to have cleared up pretty good. Although, I will say, every time we have done this, the pool guy always comes and he checks the levels and he's like, what did you guys do? Did you guys have like a party or something? And we're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure it just throws off the levels of the yeah. pool. Maybe there's just too much of something in it so it could kill whatever else is in it. I don't know, but I don't think it's good for your pool. So it's not that my pool is necessarily going to break, but it could start to like get dirty or whatever. So my pool guy will probably message me when he comes and is like, what happened to the pool? What's going on? We did a little shopping today because the boys majorly needed clothes. Look at this, I got these at Target. So cute. I used to, the boys used to wear these all the time, like these big old onesies. Uh, but you know, I was like buying them on a cute little Instagram shop and look at this, now they have them at Target. So cute. So excited to show Brian this. It's a Johnny Cash shirt. I think Brian has a, uh, a shirt just like this actually. So yeah, I got this one for Ollie. It's so cute. Oh, I even got a couple things for me. Ooh, I might have to uh, do some photos on Instagram and show you guys what I got because Target's like clothing style has like gone crazy. Look at this, I got this cute little like, it's like actually a dress. It's like overalls, so cute. I got another little dress. I got all kinds of cute stuff. So follow me on Instagram if you wanna see because it's really hard to show you guys everything. You can even follow Ollie and Finn, by the way. And I'll probably be doing a little haul. Brian got all these really cute clothes from, get this, Walmart. He got them all from Walmart. Like pretty stylish, cool clothes. Anyways, they really needed some new clothes because they are wearing, <laughs> they've been wearing like way too small of clothes for a while. Like sometimes Finn puts on pants and they're like three inches above his ankles. I'm like, oh, you need some new clothes. <laughs> We're getting ready for bed now. Check this out, you guys. I'm gonna show you real life right now. Boom, these are all clean clothes, not <laughs> um, folded yet. Obviously there's a lot of towels, but a lot of clothes too. And I have so much more clothes. I've got clothes and dryer, washer. <sighs> Sometimes there's just not enough hours in the day. I, I just, I can't. I've been actually 
in a meeting for the past like two hours with someone. And I'm, I'm really excited. We have some really fun things planned for 2020. Planning takes a lot of time. And that's why it's now nighttime. <laughs>